Julia Lama, also known as Lizalba, was a highly talented female Venetian painter in late Baroque period, yet little is known about her life. Back in the 18th century, it was an age when not only the aristocracy but also a burgeoning middle class had the opportunity to pursue their interests in the arts. But these opportunities were generally open only to men. Many talented and highly skilled women still had to overcome numerous obstacles and were often underrepresented, and Julia Lama was one of them. She was born in 1681 in the Paris of Santa Maria, Formosa, in Venice. As her father was a painter, she was first taught and trained art skills by him. Afterward, she then studied alongside a childhood friend, Giambattista Piazzetta, the prominent Rococo painter of various religious subjects and genre paintings. This is Lama's self-portrait dated in 1725. The study has shown that the artist appears to be around 40 years of age, suggesting that she was born around 1685. She did some very large altar pieces in Neo Manor style for churches in Venice, and this one is called The Crucified Christ with Saints in 1730. The painting shows a set of pleading women and apostles at the bottom of the painting. The scenes moves upwards through the figure of the Christ, crucified Christ on the right. In front of Christ, two angels who are called Putti are crying and above is a dove of the Holy Spirit and her father himself. As you can see, she was very great with the use of light and dark, similar style to her friend Piazzetta. The colors and the lighting reinforces the dramatic presentations. Germaine Greer, an Australian writer and public intellectual, regarded as one of the major voices of the secondary wave feminist movement, remarked, Julia Lama was a highly trained professional carrying out large original commissions with daring and self-confidence. This painting is called Judith and Hall of Friends in 1730. What was very interesting about this painting was that, unlike other Judith and Hall of Friends created by other artists, she chose to depict the moments before the decapitations, which was not very common. In this painting, we can see that the main figure of Hall of Friends is still alive, laying on the bed. Besides, there are two characters, Judith and her maid. Judith is depicted here looking up with her hands together, as in a prayer, maybe wondering what she should do. There is no sign of violence in this painting, nor the sword that will be used by Judith to kill her offender. This painting is called The Martyrdom of St. John the Evangelist, painted by oil on canvas. The work was first assigned to Piazzetta, but later attributed to Lama. Scholars argued that Lama pushed the boundaries of prevailing taste even further than Piazzetta. They described the painting as characteristics Lama possessing, a dramatic composition of structures and figure types that recall Piazzetta, but with more stress on the homeliness of the physiognomy and on the anatomical distortions produced by the shifting chiaroscuro, the severe body pours blood toward us, the splayed hand in the foreground seen alive, the head is held aloft by the triumphant executioner who watches our reaction. Julia Lama is truly an important female artist to know, to remember, and to further study because she was one of the first women to paint male nudes, certainly an unconventional practice for a woman at that time. She had left nearly 200 works, all of them nude life drawings. She was active as a historical painter and a poet, whom instead of engaged in producing feminine genres such as portraiture or miniatures like other female artists, Julia Lama focused on historical painting, creating large, densely filled compositions. Understanding of anatomy, her sharp contrast of light and shade skills and technique is said to surpass many male artists.